Well, we're at the yard where they make the hollow blocks. We're getting some sand today. We're filling up the bags. I got a tricycle driver that takes me around to get my sand, my materials, my cement. And they're, we had to buy the bags and bring them here. And this is the sand they're using. Then I'll take that with the Portland I've already bought and finish up doing my concrete work and my blocks. Here's the machine that they use. And then mix the mortar over here and dump it in with a shovel. And then it presses down and they got a block. Aggregate for sale in the background. This is the building. Cost me 210 pesos for seven bags of, of sand. Everything is done by, by hand here in the Philippines. I'm getting ready to take me home now. This is hollow block construction. The, the concrete inside the blocks are actually stronger than the than uh, the blocks. The blocks just kind of hold the concrete into place. I got this fellow's phone number and he's going to be taking me around the city whenever I need him. Do some sightseeing, some more videotaping. Then on the other side of this sand pile, they've got aggregate. And then for the road construction, they've got the bigger aggregate out here. This is a somebody's big old lot right here in the middle of a subdivision, a nicer subdivision here in the Philippines. Hilo Hilo. There's the hollow blocks when they're dry. That's the six inch block here and then that's the four inch block there. I built a whole wall with these four inch already, took out a bad window. About ready to go. Everybody here is hard working. They're amazed the fact that I do all my own labor. I build my own walls, do my own concrete, carpentry work. Looks like we're ready to go.